All right, in order to actually start holding your trumpet, you gotta actually get it out of its case. First things first, make sure you have a flat surface. If you don't have a flat surface, it's going to rock and roll and your trumpet's going to dent, inevitably. So, you unbuckle the thing on top, or you have a zipper, then you unzip it. Then you lift up the lid and boom, your pride and joy for maybe like a year is right here. So, see the little mouthpiece in here and this right here? All right, great. I'm glad we're on the same page with that. First things first, you take the trumpet out. Make sure you're holding it right. With your, uh, with your left hand, hold it like you're shaking someone's hand. Make sure your thumb is on the first valve casing. Make sure it's with your left hand. With your right hand, it's gonna be a little messy. Um, then you make sure that your uh, pointer finger, middle finger on the third valve casing, and that your ring finger and pinky are somewhere in the vicinity of the ring, of the little ring right here. Make sure the ring finger is in the ring and the pinky is on the outside of the ring so you can easily move the third valve slide. Life is good. With your right hand, put your pinky in the little loop and put your fingers on top accordingly and put your thumb right here like you're holding a tennis ball. Amazing. And then after that, uh, all you have to do is put your mouthpiece in. Make sure when you put it in, you put it in and twist, and then boom, your trumpet's ready to play. Now, when you're ready to disassemble, make sure you twist and pull out, put it in your little trumpet, little, little hole right there for your trumpet mouthpiece, and then you put this in like so. Once you've done that, you close your little case, and then boom, you've just assembled and disassembled your trumpet. One thing I forgot to mention, um, you don't actually have to leave your little pinky in here. You can actually like, you can put it on top if you want, if that's most comfortable, or you can just leave it hanging because it, it doesn't really affect the movement on here unless your pinky is like actually just screwing with your other fingers. In, out, or up, all good. All right, one big part about playing trumpet and has a huge effect on how you're playing is your posture. If you don't have correct posture, your breath support will be minimal. It will not be good. So, first things first, make sure you're sitting up straight. Shoulders just a tad bit back. Make sure your chest is just a little bit out. You're sitting up straight. If you feel like you can get maximum breath support with this, good! You're doing a good job. Next, bring your trumpet up to your face. Elbows should not be on the ribs. Neck shouldn't be protruding forward. Neck up, trumpet up, elbows facing down, and boom. Amazing trumpet posture. All right, a great way to get started on the trumpet is by doing a basic siren on the mouthpiece. A siren is something that just allows you to get the proper voicing for proper notes correctly. It helps with it. So one way you can do it is by whenever you have the mouthpiece to your mouth. You say, ee ah ee ah ee ah It helps move your tongue up, and it just makes it so that everything's properly in shape, and that's what you do on the mouthpiece. For instance, <laughs> Or you can do it vice versa. ah ee ah ee ah ee For instance, <laughs> Now that we know how to make a sound on the mouthpiece, let's talk about proper articulation. It's also very important when you're playing this instrument. So, it's as easy as, and I quote, time to talk. It's super easy. Now it's not like, tuh, 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 tuh. that's not time to talk. No, 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 no. It's time to talk. As simple and as quietly and as effortlessly as that. Time, time. Matt, it did more specific or in more detail. It's hitting the back of your teeth, in between your back teeth, and your hard palate up there. Now, I'll show you how to do it. It's also simple, but also it's very, it's, it's very simple, but it's also very challenging in that manner. Make sure not to overcompensate by doing it. If you do that, you're gonna get a it destroys your embouchure, and it also does not produce a good sound. 
All right, I'm gonna explain the main parts of the trumpet now. You can't play the trumpet if you don't know what the main parts are. At least that's what I say. I mean, of course you can, but I don't recommend it. Anyways, first things first, you have this tier, this thing here, and this is your mouthpiece. Without your mouthpiece, you can't make any produ tone production. It's very important that you have this. If you don't, you're not gonna be able to play gigs, and that's pretty bad. Two. This thing right here is where the mouthpiece goes. This is the lead pipe. Stick the mouthpiece in there. Make sure you give it a good twist. Please do not like just shove it in there because someone can bop it and your mouthpiece is stuck. That'd be pretty bad. In there, twist. Super simple. And that's how you assemble your instrument. We're gonna follow this lead pipe all the way down to this. This is your main tuning slide. This is what keeps you in tune. Um, it's always good to be in tune. I will say that. You, can't, you can always be not in tune. But I think, I think it's better to always be in tune. Then you come down to here, which is your second second valve tuning slide. And tunes your second valve. It's just there. This is your first valve tuning slide right here. It's also just kind of there, but it is used. This right here is your third valve tuning slide, which is the most used tuning slide on the trumpet. If you um, if you're using, if you're playing the notes D or C sharp or D flat. Use this, keeps you in tune, life is good. And then we're just gonna wrap all the way around here. This is where your pinky goes, it's your pinky holder. Woo -hoo. And this is where your ring finger goes to make sure you can move that tuning slide back and forth. Now, these are the support beams that keep the trumpet together. You can't really play a trumpet if the trumpet's kind of dead. And then you have your main valve right here. This is where the, this is where all, of this is the volume. This is where the volume is. If you don't have volume, no one can hear you. All right, now let's talk about proper tuning. Being in tune is always great, right? So first things first, let's talk about the main basics of tuning here. When you're sharp on this instrument, you wanna push out. Makes your instrument longer, makes the sharpness go away. When you're flat, you push in. Makes your instrument shorter, therefore making it less flat. Now. There are special, now let's get into the more complicated parts about this instrument and intonation. First things first, your notes D and C sharp. I said that out of order. But your notes D and C sharp are naturally going to be super sharp. So in order to do that, you can't just like lift your hand up and then do this. No, you have to use the third valve tuning slide right here. Turn it around, push out whenever you're playing D. And then whenever you're not, you push it back in. Super fast, super easy, super quick. Same thing with C sharp, and boom. Great intonation, makes you sound great. Now it's time to do a lip slur. First, I'm gonna do G to C. playing my G Dorian scale. Hi, I'm gonna be playing my chromatic scale now and I will be starting on A. Militaire.
Hello there. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to maintain your trumpet. Keep this thing happy and clean. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to take care of this main tuning slide right over here. You want this to be moving as slow as possible. You don't want it to be moving fast because if it moves fast, um, it's going to shoot out while you're, uh, it's going to shoot out and someone's going to get hit and you're going to get sued. Regardless, let's show, I'll show you how it's done. First things first, you just slowly inch it out. Don't take it all the way out though. If you take it all the way out, then, uh, then you're not doing it right and you're going to put it in backwards. Your life's going to be sad. Then you take some of your nice little slide grease right here and you just apply it just a little bit to your little tuning thing right here. Just a little bit. Don't want too much. And then, once you have that, you want to push it in. And you see all this excess right here? I don't know if you can, but there's a bunch of excess right here. You don't want that. So what you want to do is you want to wipe it off with your rack. Wipe it off. Boom. Now, perfect. See that? And keep doing that until all the excess is gone. No one's dead. All right. Now we do that with this side right here because this side also needs it. Just give it a nice little rub rub. Push in. Get rid of all the excess. Pull out. And it's as good as new. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to take and take care of your little valves right here. First things first, you unscrew the valve. That's the most important part, otherwise you can't clean it. So you unscrew it and you slowly pull it out. Make sure not to turn it. If you turn it, it's gonna go back in wrong. And if you uh, make sure not to take it all the way out, make sure you have just a little bit left. Now you see me being stupid, I forgot to get my oil right here. So I'm just gonna place this right here. It would just be better if I placed it right here. Pulled it out. And make sure not to put this in any of the holes. As you can see, there are holes in this thing. Don't put it in the holes. If you put it in the holes, that's gonna cause some pretty bad malfunctions for this instrument. Plus, when you're eating a piece of bread, do you put butter in the holes or do you put butter around the holes? That's my analogy for the day. Regardless, now you put a little oil on there, make sure just a little bit, and then boom, look at that. Good as new. Okay, last and most importantly, let's talk about these slides on the sides. So, with this trumpet right here, you, um, you wanna make sure to properly oil the third valve slide right here. This is one of the most important slides on the trumpet, aside from the main tuning one. Because this one keeps your, keeps your D and C sharp in tune. If you don't keep this clean, it's gonna stick and you can't move it and you're gonna be out of tune and you're gonna sound really bad. Please don't do that. Instead, uh, keep these clean by using either typical valve oil, which is what I use, or you can use a much better product called Break Free CLP, which is something that helps keep your uh, valves way cleaner. Plus, if your valves ever get stuck, um, it kind of breaks it free. Hence the name. Regardless, uh, make sure when you also do clean these, you hold down the valves, because otherwise it's gonna make a huge pop. This one just doesn't wanna come out, but typically it does come out like normally, and I think I have a problem with my trumpet. Here's a better example. Here's this. Hold, this, hold the second valve, this comes out, there's no pop. Put it back in, life is so great and grand. Without this, you get a pop. You don't want those pops. Pops are bad. Makes you, makes you, ruins the trumpet. Anyways, 